What's up, people? How are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And I'm going to do a video today on basically how to bypass the unable to activate with the blue triangle. Now, what makes this one different to the one with the red triangle is that this one here, if you ever have this problem, it means you have a broken baseband. OK, which is basically related to the hardware inside the CPU inside the device. Right. <clears throat> so obviously to fix it thoroughly, you know, you would have to take it out um, and put a new one back in. Or clearly, if you're not experienced in that field, get someone to do it for you. Now, what I'm going to show you in this video is basically how to if you've got um a phone that's stuck on unable to activate with the uh, blue triangle, just like this one here. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do to bypass it and to get access to your device. Be advised, if FMI is turned on on your device, um, either sign into iCloud.com on your computer and turn it off, or go on one of your other devices and um, and uh, iCloud My Devices, remove it from your account. Um, if you if you don't know the iCloud, um, if our FMI is on and you don't know the activate uh, the code to it, this is still going to work. It would still work. However, the only difference is you would only have limited access to it. Yeah. Um, so if FMI is off and there's no iCloud, then you know you're going to have access to a lot more once you bypass the um, the unable to activate screen, okay? So, uh, first of all, what I'm going to do is connect it to the computer. Would be a good start. Right, so that's connected to the computer, unable to activate. Um, so on Wi-Fi next and bam, just like that, you know, there's no way around it literally. If you hit shut down, you leave a slide to power off, but we don't need to do that. We can cancel on that. So now it's connected to the computer. What we're going to do is this. Download. Um, I mean, I've already got it. If you go into Launchpad, right, it's Checkmate. Um, Checkmate.info, the free version, or there's this one here, which is the paid for pr premium version. Um, so basically, I downloaded this one here. It's a very simple process to download. I'll show you anyway, because um, a lot of you might not know how to do it. So basically, just go into Safari or whichever web browser you're using. Um, and go on to the site checkmate.info and this one here right new release uh works anything up to ios 14.6 okay so what we're gonna do is simply just download the software um drag this across and then what you want to do then is open it and just simply drag it to your desktop. Okay. So once that's done, it's on your desktop, it's fine, you can clear it from there. I uh, no longer need this page anymore. Um, so simple process. Um, once you drag it, open it up, click continue and continue uh, and install. Obviously, it's going to ask for your computer passcode, no problem. And just like this, it does it very quick. See what I mean? This is a very quick installation. OK, so close. Right. We don't need this now. OK, so I'll put that where it belongs. Um, head over to Launchpad and basically 
it will be here available for you, okay? A simple process, open it up. Um, and once you click start, um, Checkmate has got its own check ring jailbreak ingrained in it, which if you ask me, it's a very good idea, that is. Um, so I'm gonna run the check ring jailbreak through here. If it's the latest, uh, 0 0.12.4, then I'm not gonna have any problems because I'm using an iPhone 7, which is iOS 14.6, is on the latest beta. All right, so it's saying the iPhone 7 Global is supported, brilliant. So options, skip A11 BPR, allow and tested devices and basically so go back and hit start and we're gonna click OK and now it's gonna put our device into recovery mode. Error, could not trigger entering recovery mode. Don't panic if this happens, don't panic, okay? It's just a simple error, go back, uh, close out of this check ring here. And basically what you wanna do is, if you haven't downloaded it already, go on to check rain uh, site, but spell it with a one instead of an I. So that one there. Now, this is 0 0.12.4, um, and that's the one I just used, but I used it through that. I'm gonna use it through this. Obviously, if it don't work, I'll use um, um, a different version of Check Green, but it shouldn't have any problems. Should work, shouldn't have any errors or nothing. Right, enter in recovery mode. Ah, brilliant. Device is now in recovery mode, as you can see. Yeah, right. So now it's in recovery mode. We want to hit into, go into DFU mode, right? So click start, volume down and power with this, and then let go of the power button, keep hold of the volume down. Depends which device you're using. Um, right, so successfully entered DFU. Now it's going to start jailbreaking the device for us. For me. <laughs> so let's boot in now. There we go, it's performing the jailbreak perfectly. I mean, in my other video, um, the unable to activate with the red triangle, I've got another video on that as well, of um, by bypassing it to get in there. Um, it's very similar to this as well. Right, so check green says all done. So I'm going to close that and see how I've kept this open here. So just to confirm, I press the home button go through the uh, setup and it's still gonna go straight to unable to activate. Now, if you watch carefully, when I press start, it's preparing the device. As you can see, it says your device has been successfully bypassed, but it's not showing it on the screen. So sometimes all you gotta do is just select back and then next, and there we go, look at that. Look at that, people. Straight to data and privacy. So go through the setup. Um, you can always like do all that later on. And just to let you know, this is just basically a tethered bypass to help you get into your device. Um, you know, if you've got this issue and your, your device is just hanging around, not doing anything, um, this is how you can get into it and use it. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, if there is um, iCloud, um, if FMI is turned on, then you're gonna have um, certain restrictions, like for example, iMessage, FaceTime. You know, you're not gonna be able to use all that. You can still use like um, app 
App Store, iTunes Store, you know, and look at that, straight into the device and check rings on there. So I could, um, you know, install Cydia, get some apps um, from Cydia on you. Um, but yeah, I mean, this phone, um, it's, it's got a signal problem anyway. So whether there's a SIM card in there or not, it'll say no service and the bars will just keep going up and down. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's basically how you get in to um, any um, iOS device with that issue. Um, although I can't say I've ever had an iPad with that issue. I've had, a, I've had um, iPads with the red triangle unable to activate issue, but not with the blue one. That's phone related because it's a baseband issue. Now, so yeah, if you've got that problem, simple process, you do what I just done there. If uh, checkmate fails a jailbreak, do check rain, okay? I knew it would work on one of them because I am using the latest beta, which is currently 14.6. Um, and like I said, you, you saw it yourself earlier before I downloaded it. It works on any, um, any device, um, any, anything up to 14.6, the latest beta. Um, but be advised it's A11 chips or below. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed my video today. Um, do feel free to like, comment, and most importantly, most importantly, subscribe. You know, because I've got, if um, it's videos regarding iCloud, bypasses, tethered, untethered, uh, unable to work, activate issues, um, MDM, remove um, device management bypasses, yeah. They're all on my channel, folks. I'm the iCloud helper, I'm here to help. And, you know, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel because believe me, there is many more where this came from. This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City.